Well, hi there. Welcome back, friends. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me as I pick up a few things from HEB and Aldi. Then we'll head back home and I'll share this delicious four ingredient crock pot meal with you. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're new here, my name is Luann and this is Heart Filled Kitchen. On this channel, I hope to bring you plenty of motivation with kitchen, food, and pantry videos. So if any of that sounds good to you and you haven't subscribed, I hope that you'll take a few minutes to go ahead, hit that big red subscribe button and make yours a Heart Filled Kitchen too. Well, in today's video, I was going to share with you my weekly grocery haul. But then, as it turns out, I just didn't need too many things from the store this week. So instead, I have decided to bring you along with me to the grocery store. So we're going to head on out to HEB and then a quick trip to Aldi's. And when we get back home, I'm going to share with you a super easy but very flavorful crock pot meal that only has four simple ingredients. So be sure and stick around for that one because I believe you just might want to add this one to your recipe rotations. But for now, let's go ahead and head off to HEB. Okay, so here I am on the cereal aisle of HEB, and the first item on my list is granola. I like to buy this to put on top of my yogurt, ice cream, or just for snacking. Next item on the list is gonna be mandarin oranges. If you've seen my hauls before, you've seen these a lot. I like to eat them either with sliced bananas, in my yogurt, or just all by themselves. They're also good with cottage cheese. Now we're strolling through the store. As you can see, HEB has really done a great job lately at keeping every department stocked up. We have plenty of juices. There was a time that that whole section was empty. Uh, the clean supplies are very good. And as you're about to see, my next item on the list is gonna be bleach. And they're fully stocked on all the different sizes of bleach. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one bottle of bleach. Right now the price is at $4.18 and that is definitely a downside to everything that I'm sure the rest of you are seeing in your grocery stores too and that's the inflation. Okay, here at the end of this aisle, you'll see off to the left that this grocery store actually has a clothing department. And then off to the right, there's a little store called Mia's Mirror. They have the yellow box shoes, candles, jewelry, and just some real neat little knickknacks. Okay, now here to the right, we're going to go down the paper aisle. Again, you can see it's fully stocked. And if you've seen any of my previous videos with the grocery store updates, this aisle has been completely bare at times, but looking good today, can't complain. Now we're gonna turn back to the right here. I forgot my cream cheese. That's the next thing on the list. And you'll also see we just passed the biscuit section. Now, just a few weeks ago, that whole section was completely gone. We didn't have biscuits probably for about three weeks. But thank goodness we now have the canned biscuit section back. And as you can see to the right there, it's fully stocked. Now I'm going to keep going straight here and I'll show you some of our milk prices and how that's looking. Uh, there's your whole milk prices. Oh, I'm sorry. Those are the egg prices. Isn't that unbelievable? And then these are the milk prices ranging anywhere from 274, 378, and 408. This that I'm showing you there is the 2% milk. But thank goodness I get mine from a local dairy, so I'm not going to need anything there, but I do need some more yogurt. And I like the HEB brand of the whole milk plain yogurt. And then finally, while we're here in the dairy section, I'm going to grab some coffee creamer. Now the coffee mate section was pretty bare, not a lot of selection. 
but the international delight which is actually what i'm here for today to get this coffee creamer on my list and i am going to get the white chocolate mocha this time three dollars and 24 cents so do you all buy the same creamer every week or do you kind of bounce around between two or three of your favorites right now i am bouncing between hazelnut the white chocolate mocha and the buttered pecan okay so as we go down this aisle the next item on my list is going to be crock pot liners you can see there we have the Reynolds brand for $2.34. Or I can go right over here for $1.59 and get the HEB brand. And they're just as good. Okay, moving right along, we're going to go into the next aisle, which is going to be the dog food and dog treat aisle. Again, this is a section that used to stay pretty bare, and as you can see, they've stocked up very well with it. Except for what I'm about to realize here. All that I need is a box of the medium milk bone treats, and unfortunately, they're all gone. So I'm going to have to try Walmart or even Aldi's. Aldi's has some good ones. Okay, so, well, it looks like I'm not going to get any dog treats today. Uh, this is, I was just showing you that this is our outdoor center. To the left there, we have what's called Cody coolers. I don't know if you have those in your area, but they're very comparable to Yeti. But what I'm here for is the clearance rack today they have a lot of the syrups but it looks like they're all pumpkin spice and i don't need any of that uh, this is something called dry botanical bubbly i don't know what that is so i guess i'm not going to be needing that on the top shelf are some non-food items 7.49 for some sleep well i don't need that but this castile soap for $2.79, that's a pretty good deal, but I don't need that either. And now the final thing that's really catching my eyes are these snapper treats with pretzels, caramel, and chocolate. Those look good, but I don't need those either. So I'm gonna move right on along. Now I wanted to show you our seasonal section and these are some of the things they have out for the up coming Memorial Day. Okay, they have out some of the sports team shirts, there are some summer toys for the kids. And to the right, they're still stocking these shelves with some summer themed items. More toys for the kids, a big outdoor checker mat. There's things for the swimming pool, sunglasses and flip flops outdoor lighting and then I just wanted to show you here is a seven quart Dutch oven for a whopping $55 normally that would probably be a decent deal but I got one at Aldi's I believe for right around 30 or $35 and if I'm not mistaken, it's an eight quart and it's doing great. Well, here's the end of my HEB shopping trip. And here's just a glance at some of the things I got. I have cream cheese, Mexican cheese, some singles, borracho beans. There's that granola. I also had some candy pecans, mashed potatoes. Uh, this is my produce, some angel sweet tomatoes. 
These sugar snap peas, my husband's loving these. He eats them with some vegetable dip. Carrots, a cucumber, bananas, and then I just have a little bag of cilantro. I'm actually going to be making those taquitos after this grocery trip, so if you didn't see that video, I'll link it at the end. And here's the tortillas for those taquitos, and then I had some hoagie buns there for some cheese steaks I'm going to make. And then here's just another overview of everything I got. I'll be serving those borracho beans with the taquitos. They're really good. If you have them in your area and you haven't tried them, they're delicious. Okay, so now that I have everything that I need from HEB, I was going to pop into Aldi's and apparently my local Aldi's has a strict rule against taking pictures or filming inside. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any shopping footage, but I was able to film as I was bagging up my groceries. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. Okay, here we are at Aldi's and I have some baby bell mushrooms, some cherry tomatoes, green beans. I accidentally bought another yogurt, so I ended up with two of those. Some more mandarin oranges. I like to have some in the cans and my pantry was kind of low. I picked up some pork chops for this week. And then uh, here is the steak that I use for the cheese steaks. This is really good. You just put it in a skillet, heat it up with some cheese whiz, and it's delicious on those hoagie buns. And there's the green beans and potatoes that I'll be using in the recipe that's coming up next. All right, so we're back home. The groceries are put away. And now it's time to share with you that simple crock pot meal that I promised. So let's go ahead and get started with that by going over the short list of ingredients. Well, I sure did have a great time bringing you along with me today to the grocery store, but I would love to know how did you feel about today's video? Did you like going with me or would you rather just see the final haul once I get it home? So if you did like going along with me inside the store, you can let me know down below in the comments section or you can just simply give the video a thumbs up. 
And if you do want to see more videos like this, I'll definitely try to get better at filming inside the stores. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks again so much for stopping by, and I sure hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.